hi guys we are fresh faced and no faux locks i miss my faux locks today we are going to be doing a full face of first impressions i'm a little nervous <laughs> went to sephora today actually and you know how they wrap everything like wow just put it in the bag put the tissue on top make it look cute you know but you don't gotta wrap all my stuff so I pretty much got a lot of like travel size things um because they are mostly high-end products and I still ended up spending like a hundred dollars like for real so <laughs> let's hope this stuff works taking it out as we eat all right guys so first we're going to start with this glam glow pout mud um wet lip balm treatment <laughs> get right into it i love their glam glow has some really like innovative packaging a little silver ball and it's cute and it's so cute um, but we're about to try this and again it is tinted that's what i don't like about it but it does tingle so i feel like it's really like getting in there and penetrating the dryness <laughs> all right you guys so <clears throat> what we are going to start off with is the becca first light priming filter instant Com complexion refresh wow <laughs> why are these names so long so yeah i've been wanting to try this i think i actually got this free from sephora using my um points Oh, it's like literally purple. Oh. It smells very citrusy. So I have already done my brows. It's a combination of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony and my MAC Spiked Eyebrow Pencil. I kind of use those interchangeably. Um, so the primer... It's, it's like tacky which is good it's, it's like heavily scented like it smells like oranges and citrus but it's like kind of irritating my nose a little bit like and kind of like my eyes are kind of like oh my God. <laughs> um so yeah again the primer is tacky it's kind of sticky um i don't know what it's supposed to do let's see if it's supposed to do anything supposed to prep perk and perfect the complexion transform your complexion and create <coughs> the perfect refresh canvas for a pure healthy glow oh so this isn't supposed to be mattifying <laughs> um this is supposed to leave your skin with a glow okay i mean i see like a little a little glow okay i gotta see that i see that so for the most part, it looks like the primer is doing what it's supposed to do. I have the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette that I have not used, that I haven't used yet. Um, didn't really want to do a review on it, so maybe we could do a little mini review right now. Um, so I did purchase the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the color Toffee. So I'm just going to use this as my eye base. And I also purchased the Kat Von D Locket um, setting powder. So I'm going to set it with that. Alright, so first we're going to go in with the color Morocco. And this is like a orange. Like a burnt orange. Really, really nice. <sighs> My camera does not want to stay in focus nowadays. Alright, what's going on? Oh yeah. That's nice. I do feel like it may be based on, you know, what kind of base you put down, but I feel like I am having to dip back into the palette quite a bit just to build up the pigmentation that I want. So just to go in with Jezebel. It is a lot darker than what it's showing up on camera. I'm gonna go in with Kenya with this brush. 
I don't know if you guys noticed in my makeup looks, but when I point to the color, I'm also showing you guys the brush that I'm using. Just to, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm taking a more, de whoa, <laughs> taking a more defined blending brush and going in with this brown. Just wanted to show you guys the fallout that I'm getting from the shades usually is what I've got from the ones that I've used so far. This fallout is minimal. I'm going to go in and cut my crease again with this Sephora um, gel concealer. All right, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful green color. I'm gonna go in with this green color here, and that's called Egypt with my flat concealer brush. First with the no sprayation. <laughs> First with the no um spraying it. This is pretty. Do you guys place this shimmers are like so pigmented? But I am gonna go in and spray the brush with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And let's see how this looks. Oh girl. Oh girl, this is so pretty. All right guys, and here are the eyes. I know they look kind of weird, but um, yeah. So I'm about to put on these lashes. They are called Soho from Coco Lashes. Hopefully you guys can see. Alrighty guys, so we have our lashes on. I don't have any mascara on my actual lashes, so it might not look real blended right now. So now onto the face. The eyes takes the longest in my routine. So those look real cute, don't they? They look a little thin, but she's cute. So next I'm going in with the contour cream kit uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually picked this up from TJ. Well, found this at TJ Maxx for $18.99. So make sure you know if you got a TJ Maxx or Marshall or something, go check them out for some high-end stuff at a cheaper price okay because i know these kits are like 40 45 dollars but this is brand spanking new so we're starting with this because i want to take this orange or this coral color and color correct so i just wanted to kind of get the most use out of this palette by seeing what we can do so i'm just going to put this around my mouth where i have my dark lines and i'm using a foundation brush this is actually a mary Kay foundation brush i don't have a lot of fancy tools you know but you don't need a lot of fancy tools so yeah this mouth looking good already what about I? this was really good though um Probably could have primed my face again because I feel like this is like really oily. This is definitely doing the job. Like, look how pretty this looks. I like this little kit. This, like, it's just boom, like melting into my skin. Okay. Ooh, it looks like I got on foundation. Hold on, hold on. Like, we can stop right here. Like, Things look good. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm feeling myself. Hold on. I'm feeling myself. Hold on. <laughs> so, um, a foundation that I have been wanting to use for a while is the Anastasia um, Stick Foundation. Um, and I got it in the color Truffle. I just, I don't own a stick foundation and I was looking at stick foundations and this is like the cheapest one. <laughs> but I've always wanted to try it, honestly. So we're going to uh, just go in, I guess. Okay, that's actually a really good match. I did match myself in Sephora. But they lied and be like way off from like the real world. <laughs> so... You gotta shop at your own discretion. <laughs> it's Sephora too. So, first putting this on, which I think this is supposed to be just like a medium coverage type thing. 
So it says a highly pigmented buildable cream foundation stick with a natural matte finish. Ideal for normal to oily skin type. So that's good to know. I probably should have read that before I bought it actually. Um, and for the um, contour palette, it says the creams have a rich blendable texture. Ideal for heavy highlighting and contour, which I didn't know, but that's cool. Nevertheless, <laughs> I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge here. And just blend this out. Probably should have went in with a another foundation brush. Let me try with a brush on the other side. Oh, so as I mentioned, as I first put it on, it feels really like oily. Like the texture of it seems really oily. I don't really know how to feel about that, you know. I'm gonna take this little e.l.f. powder brush and blend it. Okay. So I think the brush gives you better coverage. The beauty sponge, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. Just blend it out a little more. But I think the brush wins here. So I would say, go in with a brush. Any other streaks you see. Use your beauty blender to blend them out. Or beauty sponge. Blend it out really nicely. I do think this foundation stick is supposed to be more medium coverage. <coughs> so we're going to see if it's buildable by chance. I feel like around here. In here it's still pretty dark. In here. Here. Okay. Let's see. I blend out really nicely yet again. Oh, let me zoom in some more. Sorry, my camera is just so trash today. It does not want to focus on what it need to focus on. Alrighty. So I don't want it to become too heavy. But again, it does still seem medium coverage. Maybe if you were to build a little more on top of it, I don't know. I don't want to do too much. So I do still feel like this is just the medium coverage because I still see some of my discoloration, you know, so yeah, that's that. So let's move on to the um, Sephora gel stuff, girl, girl. Oh, this, this is really nice. This does remind me a lot of my ColourPop concealer. Very creamy, glides across your skin. And I got a good color. Wow. I'm getting better at this stuff, I think. Hope it's not too light. Maybe I didn't go too overboard. We shall see. <laughs> oh, what I like to do is do it like this. So, let's hope we can... This seems to have a little scent to it. It's kind of like a vanilla scent. I don't know. Y'all know my nose a little crazy. But it does have a little scent. It's not bothering my eyes or anything. But it does have a scent to it. So, let's blend her out. Yeah. <laughs> and I have put this all over my face and it's way too light. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Like everything was going good until now. Wow. I am so disappointed. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. Yeah, the girl. Um girl. <laughs> I could have sworn, B, like, I thought this was the perfect shade, bruh. Either I put way too much, or this is just, I think I put too much. I want to say that. I, I want to say I put too much. So, this is deep sailing. This is usually what I use. Oh, okay. Well, it's a little darker. So, never mind, but I'm going to still swatch it. And this is the Sephora. 
Okay, well, <laughs> it is too late. Okay, girl, okay. So I'm going in with the Kat Von D locket stuff. Oh, this is nice. This feels really nice. Oh, I like it. I think I like it. I'm a little scared when it comes to white powders. I don't necessarily like to bake. So that's why I'm kind of blowing at it. So we can go ahead and do what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I'm putting on this powder because I wanted to set this really fast. But we are not done with the creams. So. I usually don't do cream contour. I usually don't do cream contour. But we're going to do it today. As soon as I have this palette. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in with the darkest shade. Let's see if this is dark or if I can use it for my foundation. <laughs> okay. What y'all think? It blends really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, I would say we found a winner. So I have the most trouble trying to find something dark enough to actually contour me. I don't know how to feel about this powder. It feels good on the skin. I just don't know as far as anything else what it's going to be like. Because we don't want any flashback, I didn't feel the need to get a setting powder, like a, a face color setting powder. So I'm just going to use what I have, and that's the Maybelline Fit Me in Dark 40. Okay, so the skin is cute. Um, I don't know. You can still kind of see that white under my eyes. I feel like it's like settled into my eyes now. Not a fan of that powder, okay? It's literally like set into my eyes. Or maybe that's the concealer. Yeah, so I think that um, Sephora concealer was maybe medium coverage. Did not cover up anything for me. So what I'm thinking is the Sephora concealer, which I've heard so much rave about. So I was like, I want to try it. I think it's trash. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think it's like a full coverage, um, which I don't know if I expected it to be. It When I, <clears throat> now that I'm looking up close, um, after I blended it apparently, it's not covering up. Like, I could still see dark spaces under my eyes. You guys could probably see it, too. It's just, like, really dark in certain areas and then brighter in certain areas. Uh, it's just so patchy looking. Oh, my God. I, and I don't think setting it with the powder did anything. I probably should have noticed it before I set the powder. I mean, set it with powder. But, hey, what can you do? So I'm just going to go in <coughs> with my It's My Ray Ray PH Cosmetics and Brownie Bite. Y'all already know. I'm surprised I have not hit pan on sis because she is. Alright guys, so today I picked up one of the Urban Decay, her, heavy, well, I picked up one of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, Glitter Liners. And I picked up the one in Cat Call. So it's like um color. It's really, really pretty. So I was thinking since I have this like green look on or whatnot, <laughs> it would look a little weird. <coughs> but I do have like a little purple and red as my transition. So you know, I mean, why not? So we can see how this works. <laughs> I don't have the steady hand for this at all. Okay. Um feel it getting harder of course when you apply it's wet um, so I do feel it drying up um, all right so the glitter was a nice touch I messed up a little bit but you know that's life <laughs> going back in with the previous place at Nubian 2 palette um, I'm going to go on the lower lash line 
Um, I think I'm gonna just go in with, okay. I'm gonna go in with Kenya. So, okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in with Jezebel and kind of blend that out. So I'm So she looks real cute and smoky. So now I am going to try the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I know this hadn't come out too long ago. So I'm super excited. And ooh, this packaging though. So cute. Okay, so what is she supposed to do? So this is supposed to volumize and lengthen as it separates while our custom brush grabs onto lashes, curling as it coats. So cool. So we're going to do the top and bottom lashes. You guys probably will, of course, probably won't see much on the top lashes because I do have on false lashes. But maybe we'll see how long and lengthened and separated the lower lashes get. Okay, let, let's see. Alright, so let's do the lower lash line and see... Oh well, we get yeah. Oh, this like I don't know. <laughs> I'm like really scared to use this because this wand is hard. Like the spikes on it are literally hard, and they're hurting my skin, my face. Like I don't really see a difference as far as like my other using any of my other mascaras or anything so for some odd reason i didn't get a new lip um maybe i can put on something i haven't worn so i'm gonna line my lips with max night moth then i'm gonna take color pops um new lux look lipsticks in the color layover mm. oh, what did I just do I don't like it um but hopefully nothing a little gloss can't fix this is Fenty Beauty mm. I should have put on more of a brown pencil, uh, lip pencil, than a purple. We have one last thing to try, and I am super duper excited. Um, I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfection Pressed. Pressed Skin Perfection, whichever. And this is in Rose Gold, girl. She in Rose Gold. And let's see what this is supposed to do. All right, so this is a creamy luminizing powder that veils skin in a soft pearlized glow with a luxurious velvet finish. So, I'm interested. Let's see. I had a lot of it on the brush. Let's just go in here, shall we? She is nice. And it blends out really well. I really love this highlighter. It's so pretty. And it just blends out so well and it just looks so blended. Like, you ain't got to do much. I literally tapped my brush in there twice and got so much pigment. Oh my gosh, so pigmented. Alright guys, I really hate this lip. I have to change this lip. Um, then I'm going to come back to you guys with my final thoughts. And yeah. I literally have a minute left on my camera like WTF really thanks for staying tuned if you did get to this point but pretty much what I didn't like was the Sephora concealer trash um and then of course putting the powder on top of it didn't help so so let's see if you guys can see what this concealer did you guys see like it did nothing really <laughs> it's just like sitting there like literally just sitting on my face i would have to try the cat Von D powder again because i just I, I don't know how it really works but yeah other than that i've pretty much liked everything else like 
everything else was a go. I am happy with my purchase, so yeah guys.